hi my name is Elaine and in today's video I'm going to show you how to jazz up your rental property without losing your deposit. So I am a renter, I've been a renter for about four years and in Ireland the way it works you tend to rent a property that already has furniture in it. I know in some other countries you're kind of renting a shell of an apartment but in Ireland you tend to be stuck with whatever furniture is there and in the various rental properties that I've lived in some of them have been really easy to sort of put your own stamp on and others have been quite difficult. Uh, the apartment I'm in now was pretty it was pretty well designed and nice to begin with so there was a couple of touches that we needed to put on it to make it our own but these tips would work fine whether the property is kind of old and dingy or if it's a like ours a recently refurbished place you'll be able to implement these tips to make your rental property look a bit nicer and feel a little bit more like home and before I start two things I want to mention the first is if you hear noise in the background they are my neighbors another thing about living in apartments and renting is that you have neighbors and you can't predict when they're going to make noise uh, but I honestly think that my neighbors wait until I click record to start screaming and shouting and the second thing is if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos or keep up to date with what I'm doing and I will leave all my social media links at the end of this video so you can follow me on those and again keep more up to date so let's get on to the video okay so my first tip is about working with what's already there so when you move into a property and you want to add your own stamp to things, first of all, pay attention to the color scheme that already exists in the place. So with us, we were lucky enough, pretty much bare walls everywhere. There's a little pop of color on one of, on the blinds in the sitting room, um, and there's wooden floors, and in general, it's quite clean and fresh, except for in our bedroom. So in our bedroom, the majority of the walls are white, except for there's a wall at the back of the bedroom that has a sort of a bluey flowery wallpaper and I it's the one thing that I probably don't like about the apartment as much I liked it when I first moved in but at the same time it means that I wasn't able to put if it was just plain white walls I could put whatever bedspread I wanted on so I had to kind of think about that in the bedroom there's also curtains to match that as well and then the rest of the bedroom is white furniture except for there's a wooden bed and that kind of matches in as well with the wooden floor. So the color schemes that we had to work with were sort of like a blue, a white and this wood color. And I had a lot of uh, duvet covers that were brown and cream colors and I wanted to use them in the bedroom so I didn't have to buy more but they just were not gonna work so I decided that the best thing to do was to stop fighting against it and to go with the color scheme. So we embraced this sort of tealy, pale, bluey, greeny, aquamarine type color. And what we did was um, we bought white, also when I'm saying we, me and my boyfriend, because we live together. Um, so we bought white bed sheets because at least those would, the room was also quite small, so it would mean that the room wouldn't look any smaller and they would go with the color of the walls and the color of the various different fixtures in the room. And then in order for it to stay in keeping with the walls, we decided to pick the pale color from the walls and put it as our undersheet. So we have two of those. We have a slightly darker one and the light one that you see pictured here. And then um, we decided to bring in a sort of a deeper version of the color to match the curtains and bring that in in two cushion covers. And this was a simple enough upgrade. It didn't cost us too much money because we bought the sheets in pennies or also known as Primark if you live in the UK. Uh, we also, because like this kind of tealy sort of color was actually running through the apartment, and there was a kind of a similar color on the blinds in the sitting room, we decided to keep that color going and we bought uh, towels that match that. And the bathroom itself has a sort of a brownie color similar to the one that's in this towel, this stripy towel here. And the reason I say that just like don't fight against the colors that are already in the apartment because especially in Ireland you can't like it, nobody really paints their rental properties so if you can at all just try to go with it rather than fight against it or else the apartment won't look very nice and kind of the colors will be screaming at each other and then my second tip is similar to do with color but this is if you want to add color into the apartment especially if you've got bare walls do it through cushion covers throws and rugs so when we moved in we had this couch and it was grand it's an ikea couch it's fine 
it's there's nothing wrong with it and on it there was these two these lime green cushion covers and we could have left it as it was but we just wanted to make it a little bit more a little bit brighter and the couch is in the center of our apartment so we wanted, to be, wanted it to be more of a feature rather than just a piece of furniture. So first off, in order to help us to keep our security deposit, we got this grey throw and put it over the couch and that was to sort of to mop up any spills or to stop people's jeans from ruining the material of the couch. And then we took the teal colour that was in the cushions and we found this really nice colourful throw which uh, I think we bought in Primark, it wasn't very expensive um, and we put that onto the back of the couch and there's like there's lots of colours in it and if you, you'll see as I go through this sort of apartment type tour you see that we used a lot of those colours throughout the apartment and actually we have quite a multicoloured apartment even though the walls are very plain and very neutral so we got that throw uh, put that on and then that matched the two teal cushions and then I had these grey cushions that we thought would kind of keep it would, would add more bulk to the couch and make the couch look nicer and it would also be in keeping with the original grey colour of the couch. My third tip is to use lighting to your advantage. So in a lot of rental properties you'll come in and there'll be one big central light overhead in the main room of the apartment and similarly in the bedroom. So we have used a lot of lamps in our apartment. There was two bedside lamps and there was one lamp in the sitting room when we moved in. Um, so I had another lamp and we decided to put that in as well. And we rarely actually have the main light on in the apartment. We tend to just have the lamps. Um, and it just adds a softer feel. It makes the apartment seem homier. Whereas an apartment I lived in before only had a central light overhead and it just kind of felt like you were in a canteen or in a kitchen space the whole time whereas with us we have separate lighting in the kitchen so we're in the kitchen you can turn that on and then in the sitting room we can sort of make the apartment seem uh, cozier and darker or we can brighten it up depending on what we're doing in the apartment at the time we've also used some fairy lights around the place which in the winter time they're really nice because sometimes we'll just have one lamp on and the fairy lights and that adds a really nice quality to the lights we have fairy lights in three places in our apartment and the fairy lights are also nice in bedrooms if you want to have a really nice mood in the bedroom and then we actually replaced the two lamps that were in the bedroom with two that we made ourselves and it just so happened that the colour of the wood was in keeping with the bedroom and everything and it matched in. So yeah, so my third tip is to use lighting to make the apartment seem homelier and warmer and to highlight certain areas and to hide other areas. My fourth tip is to get crafty. So that's make things and do make and do type things for your apartment to make your apartment more your own. So in our apartment, as I mentioned already, we have two lamps that we made ourselves, which I think is really cool. Um, but also my friend, when I went to visit her in Toronto, she had these, these gorgeous these hanging decorations that she had all around her apartment. And I just thought they looked so beautiful and so sort of they just added brightness and colour to the apartment without making it too garish. So when she came back to Ireland, uh, we decided to have a craft evening and uh, she showed me how to make them. So they're really simple. She just has lots of different craft papers and she has all these shape templates cut out and all you have to do is cut around the template and just stick them together across the, across the twine. So I made two of these. We put one by the door, which I just thought was really pretty and added a nice pop of colour to that particular wall. And then the other one is over um, on this um, the side of a cabinet because our kitchen our kitchen and our living room are joined and they're just so simple but the colours, so you can see the colours are similar to what we used in the throw on the couch and it just kind of creates a theme throughout our entire apartment and they're just really nice, I really like them. And then a second thing that we, or a third crafty thing that we did was while we're in Toronto on that trip, um, we went to a paint night um, and actually I'll put a link to the paint night below because if you are from Toronto you will be able to go to these and I'm sure that there's probably ones all over the world that you can go to but it's a really good idea for a night out because they give you the canvas, they give you all the paints and you just follow the steps along with the teacher and you get this really cool artwork. So we thought that instead of just hanging one of the paintings or hanging them different places that we just put them together and again when people come in they're so bright they still again keep in they're in keeping with our colour scheme in our apartment and they match our throw and they're always just a talking point when people come into our apartment because camera died there 
Um, but yeah, it's basically just two paintings of the exact same thing. So uh, just get crafty, make things. If there's a type of cushion cover that you'd like, um, get the material, make it yourself if you can't buy it. And it also, it just adds a more personal touch to your apartment. And then my fifth tip is similar to that, but it's to um, fill your apartment with personal mementos and photographs of people that you love and people that you care about. So again, we have used a lot of, uh, there's not a, like our apartment's not very big, so there's not a huge amount of wall space that you can use to put things up and there's not a huge amount of surfaces. And we didn't want to kind of have the apartment quite, um, I just kicked the stand. We didn't want to have the apartment very cluttered. So we've used a couple of different surfaces um, to put personal mementos on, such as our fridge. So we've got wedding invitations there, we've got postcards, we've got thank you cards. Uh, we also have some picture frames around the apartment that have pictures of people that we love. And on our windowsill, if there's a birthday or if there's a reason for cards, we like to display them there. We also have little ornaments and figurines around the apartment and just things that are ours. And I know it can be hard, especially if you're renting with a group of people. So you often find that you can only put those things into your bedroom, which I would definitely encourage anyone to do just to make it more homely. But because we rent this entire apartment and we're a couple, it's we were able to fill the apartment with things that are ours. My sixth tip then is to use wall Velcro. So my landlord actually told me about wall Velcro and it is a way of hanging pictures and hanging things up on the wall without damaging the wall. And we have a couple of pictures hanging up around our house um, and it just means that you don't have to put nails in the wall. You can also move the location of the thing that you have hanging and you can get wall Velcro in various different strengths so it will keep up, um, it will hold up various different weights of picture frame. So we've used this around the apartment to hang a couple of pictures. We have a world map, which is quite colorful, um, and it kind of, you know, our whole colorful theme that I was talking about. We have another picture hanging by our bedroom, or by our bathroom. We had another picture hanging, but it actually fell down and broke, so we just need to rehang it. But because it fell down and broke, I can actually show you how easy the wall Velcro is to take off and how it doesn't leave a mark. You just basically have to pull the wall velcro down you just keep like it's stuck onto the wall and you just keep pulling it down until it snaps and kind of snaps onto your fingers but it doesn't leave any marks but i've tried to hang things in previous apartments with things like uh blue tack and you know double-sided sticky tape and they have actually damaged walls so i would really recommend wall velcro and if you're nervous about it and you're not really sure and um, you could just do a tester maybe down somewhere by a skirting board and just stick something there for a week or so and pull it off and see if it's okay and then you can also get this hook version of them so i have a lot of bracelets and or a lot of necklaces and i was finding it, i had nowhere to store them so i just hooked these up right by my sort of vanity unit that I have in the bedroom. And not only did it create a nice focal point in the bedroom and something a little bit different, it's also really handy for storage. And then my final tip is to use plants in your apartment. Um, plants are just really good. They add, they, add, they add nature into the apartment. And especially if you have quite a bare apartment, a gorgeous green plant looks so nice. But with our apartment, it's just, it's so small and the way it's designed, there's not a huge amount of corners and we don't have a huge amount of surfaces to be able to put plants in. So we have this sort of fake rose plant type thing. But if you can at all put plants into your apartment or flowers or even just buy yourself flowers and have fresh flowers every day, they just add a nice brightness and, and a nice smell into your apartment. So that's it. There are my tips. Um, as you can see with all of those tips, none of them involve major restructuring work or damaging your apartment. The wall Velcro is probably the most invasive out of all of them. And again, that doesn't create any damage. And I just wanted to show you ways to jazz up your rental property without you having to get out paint or to help to ask your landlord to remodel the place or to ask him to put in, or to ask him or her to put in new furniture, etc. Um, it's very easy to make your apartment your own with just a few modifications like this. So as I said at the start, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please check out my channel and click the subscribe button, which is on one side of the screen. Oh, I never remember. 
um, and you can also follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and then on Facebook, and Facebook is where I post most of my updates. So if you're gonna pick one thing to follow me on, Facebook is the one. And also, if you have any requests of videos, I've been making videos for 16 weeks now, and um, I'm starting to get a couple more followers, so if you have any requests of any content you'd like me to make, please pop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you, and any comments at all, and that's it. Okay, I have to go out for dinner now. So, see you next Sunday. So, um, 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 sorry, I just lay on the floor because of the neighbours. I was trying to film with the blinds down, but, um, it, the uh, light quality is not great, so. To film with them up, and I'm on a ground floor apartment, and people can see me. But anyway, and everyone's coming home from work, because it's quarter past six, and I have to go out for dinner. Anyway, so,